Your major is? I'm a biology major with a specialization in equine science. What's the course of study like? It is definitely rigorous, but it's very rewarding. I've learned so much, I can't even begin to explain it. Um, I've learned so much about such a variety of things within science, not just with horses. I believe Dr. Kellum leads a trip to South Africa occasionally? Yes. I was, this past summer, actually went with her to South Africa with three other students. And it was an amazing trip. Um, I want to go back. I didn't want to leave. We got to learn so much uh, working with such a variety of exotic animals and got to learn not only from Dr. Kellum herself, but also from the veterinarians that were there um, within the program we went with. What were some of the animals you worked with? Uh, so we worked with black rhinos, white rhinos. We worked with kudu, eland, cape buffalo, and we also worked with various types of smaller antelope. Do you get any time off? Uh, we got to tour some and see the animals. We went to Kruger National Park. Um, we also got to tour around Johannesburg within our first few days. And we also were in London. We did London in 12 hours, which was quite an adventure. Could you tell us a little bit about the pre-veterinarian internship program at St. Andrews? Yes. So with the pre-vet internship, you get to shadow Dr. Kellum and help her treat the various horses that we have on this property. You also get to take extra classes with her and just learn about different aspects of the veterinary field. How many hours a week is involved? So we have three hours of classroom time and then the hours outside of class depends on what types of treatments you have each week. Um, you could spend, there are some weeks where we don't have a lot going on, so you only spend one or two hours outside of class, but then there are some, out, some weeks where you spend several hours treating different horses. Does Dr. Kellum have any prerequisites for participation in the program? Yes, so in order to get into the program, you have to take her Horse Science 1 class and you have to get an A in that. Um, if you don't do that, then you take Horse Science 2, and if you get an A in that, and have good academic standing overall, um, then you can be admitted. Are the bulk of the people in the program interested in going to pre-vet school? Yes, most are. Um, some, some are not. Some, they have had business majors in the past that are just interested in expanding their equine knowledge, um, but most are interested in going to vet school. What kind of success has St. Andrews had at getting students into, pre -vet, or into vet school? Um, uh, St. Andrews has had very good success uh, getting people into vet school and this is because of the hands-on experience that Dr. K gives her students. You get so many hours working with her that go towards your applications and it looks really good. What are some of the vet schools that the students have entered? So just recently there were two that were admitted into NC State. There was one that was admitted to Purdue. And in the past, I think we've had several NC State, uh, Virginia Tech students. Do most of the people participating in the pre-vet internship program participate on the uh, IHSA or teams? Um, that seems to be a trend. Uh, there are definitely a lot that participate in both. I recall somewhere there is a pre-vet club on campus also. What yes. kind of activities do they engage in? So I'm actually the president of the pre-vet club right now. Uh, we do various activities. We work concession stands at the Hunt Seat Home Shows. We do fundraisers for the Humane Society here in Scotland County. We also volunteer every week at the Humane Society. Um, and we do fun little activities for the members throughout the year, such as Santa Paws and Bark in the Park.